two, three, four, five. counting earlier in the video, you do you take the line, pliers, doesn't matter what kind. Alright, I'm counting arm lengths. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, approximately. Then I take it and I'll cut it eh, about halfway down to the spool. Doesn't really matter. We're looking for approximately 15 to 18 feet. That's why I did five arm lengths and a little bit more. Take this end, pull the line back through your fingers while you're still holding the first end. Line them up, pull them back through. Now you'll have the middle. Cut it in half. That's how you get your two lengths of line to load your head. Now I'm going to show you how to load the head up close. All right, I'm going to try to give you a little more detailed view of what I was doing. We're just going to use this uh, weed eater head that's off of one of my old weed eaters. I'm just going to pretend this is a weed eater that ran out of line. So, first thing you want to do, pop it open, push the tab in, pull down slightly. Come around this side, push the tab in, pull down slightly. The cap will come off. And you got the bump knob. Okay. Uh, I don't think anybody needs a demonstration farther on how to cut the line, but this is what we're going to do. I said earlier, I was like, don't pay attention to this, you know, all this up here. And really, you know, that's the general dirt. That's what, how you want to wind it. But don't get all caught up in reading that and constantly looking back and forth. Just watch what I do. All right, here's the two holes. One right there, one right there. Always start on this bottom, okay? And it doesn't matter if you start on this one or if you start on this one, okay? It doesn't matter, okay? Don't worry about which one you started on. See, it's pointless. This is how you wind it. Put the line in, push in as far as it'll go. It'll only go in about a quarter to a half an inch. All right, now it's in there. Now, this is the part where people get confused. You take the line, Bend it backwards, so it looks like that, okay? Bend it backwards, then begin winding it that direction, okay? Now, it starts to get a little tangled on you. Hold it with your other hand, with your fingers, like this. Stretch the line out. All right, let that fall loosely. And begin to pull it, keeping this tight the whole time. Because what you want to do is, as you're pulling it, you're taking the twist out of the line. A little twist it, pull it. Continue on. Remember, keep it tight. Okay. You also want to try to make sure you wind it as evenly as possible. You don't have to be picture perfect. Just don't get a real high spot and then a real low spot, okay. And we reach the end of the line, okay. Now, you have two options. You can either insert the line in this little area or in this one. That is gonna be far too short. We're gonna go with this side. 
push it, locked, okay? Now, just to make sure you don't waste time or waste your work, put your thumb over it, just like that, and hold on to it. That way you can move around, it's not gonna come loose, it's not gonna un unravel on you. Get your other piece of line, find the end, okay? Now, remember I told you, it didn't matter if you started on this hole on this side, right there, or this one. It doesn't matter, okay? Just because this is the way it's easier in my hand, I'm gonna start on this side. Now, insert it fully. Quarter to a half an inch as far as it'll go. Bend it backwards. See how it's bent backwards, okay? Begin winding it, okay? You always start on the bottom. That way you don't have to cross over when you do this one. Wind it back and forth, around and around. Just keep going. Nice and smooth. All right. Going around again. That would be too short. It won't make it to this notch. So we're just going to stop here, right there. Now, that line, oh, that's way too long. It doesn't matter, don't worry about it. Okay, take your weed eater. What we're shooting for, see this little tab with the little notches missing? There's one on this side, okay? But notice how they're offset ever so slightly from this, okay? That's important. Take your bump knob. See that? You want it directly underneath. Push the spring down. Rotate. Okay? All right. Now it's directly underneath, and notice how it's not lined up. That's how it's supposed to be. All right. Pull this line out gently. Pull it through into the eyelet. Same thing. Pull it out gently. Pull it down into the eyelet. Okay, now you got it. Get your cap. Line up your tabs. All the way. All right, and when you're done, pull. The bump knob will pop up ever so slightly. That means your job is complete. 